Alright. Hey guys, uh I originally posted a uh I guess a first impressions. You know, I got these boots in when I started my new job back in early January. It's been almost two months, maybe a little more. I've worn them every day. Uh I get up four o'clock in the morning, Monday through Thursday, and you know, these these boots are on my feet four thirty. And I legit don't take them off till 6.30 p.m. So I work long hours. I'm not, I think it's like an hour and a half ride time to the work site, hour and a half ride time back. So it's 10 hour day, end up being about 12 hours, something like that. With that being said, you know, last time was just uh, first impressions. I wanted you to know I'm, I'm, I'm 300 pounds. I'm, I'm a bigger guy. These boots are light. This is the the main attraction. There you can see my, <laughs> it's kind of funny. You can see my toes and the ball of my foot there. Uh, I don't know if you can tell or not, but these, these insoles are not impressed. I, I get, it looks like they are, I get it. Like you can see my foot, but they're smooth. I mean, there's, there's a little hump, just a little hump right there, like between the ball and where, I guess like the first, the big toe and the next toe. With that being said, these insoles are stupid durable. They still squish, you know. Uh, so that's that, like the boot itself has held up good. I don't think they're worth what I paid for them. I'll be honest with you. To be a professional series line of boots from a name brand company such as Timberland, I mean, I'm not, I'm not whining. Here. I'm not trying to diss them. They, they've got an awesome boot. Uh, and I do like them. They're comfortable. You know, I work for a tree company and there's been three or four days where it's rained stupid. And we were still picking up brush, throwing in the chipper. Um, every inch of me was wet. Except for my feet. I swear to you. <laughs> I swear. You can stand in a river. And not that I've ever tried. But I'm telling you, like, you could wring out my clothes, my underwear. I had to buy a new wallet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got wet. My feet, other than a little bit of sweat, were dry as, you know, it's dry. I mean, just, it blew me away. Now, these boots did darken up a lot. I have, you know, I use a uh, sal soap on them. Matter of fact, I just cleaned them. They're still a little damp. But um, the leather... The leather, I mean, it, it's good leather, I guess. I mean, I don't know anything about leather, but, you know, I kick stuff daily. I'm constantly kicking brush together to pick up. As you can see, I mean, there's not, oh, I mean, they're dirty. Not a whole lot of wear to them. Uh, I will say to not walk on concrete no more than I do. I mean, I'm, I'm usually out in people's front yards. I don't know if you can see right there. But that's, that's two months of wear. I don't, I'm not crazy about that. I mean, you know, it don't look like much, I guess, on the camera. But when you're sitting here looking at your $200 pair of boots and you're like, that's easily a quarter of an inch wore off the back outside of both heels. Not cool. Uh, I just, I think it's... A little I mean, like I said, I don't drag my feet. These boots are light. You don't drag them. Matter of fact, when I do drag them, you know, I just say I don't drag them. When I do drag them, I'll get tired. You know, my, my job is intense. It's a very hard job, physically demanding. I'm 37 years old. I work with a bunch of 20-year-olds. At the end of the day, sometimes, I'll, you know, I'll hear like two steps, and I'm like, fuck. I pick my feet up and uh, carry on. I don't drag my feet, I don't. I guess I do sometimes, but that's that's premature wear. That's, I mean, $200 for a pair of boots, two months, four days a week, come on. Um, another thing I noticed, yeah, let me see here. If you look on this heel, this piece, I think I'm being a little picky here, but this thing, it's not as rigid as I 
hope. Maybe my, maybe my legs are just so big, you know, they push down on the boot. I don't know. But like all this through to here on both sides, on, on both boots, the outside of the boot, it's all warped. It's not bad, but at the same time, I, I just thought, you know, this whole section would be a little stiffer than what it is. It's not a bad thing. You know, for the boot to be as light as it is, I'll show you something else I like. So if you take a, if you take your fingers and you bend it in, you can actually bend the sole of this boot in. I mean, substantially, you know. That's, that's up to you, man. Like I've always said, you know, if you could take your boots and push them in like that, that's no good, you know, but they are Timberlands. They're like the carbon toe is awesome. I mean, you know, I like everything about these boots. They clean up nice. Uh, you know, they take a beating day in and day out. I'm just trying to be real with you. The heel and the outside of that black heel cage, the heel counter, it warps. I don't, I don't know why. And you can't feel it. Um, there's been days when, and I'll show you the inside of the boot. So, inside of the boot looks good. You know, there's been days when I tighten these things down very tight. There's been days, you know, I had an easier job flagging. Uh, bucket groundsman, you know, you don't do a whole lot. I mean, you put out cones, you, you work, but you, it's not as physically demanding as a normal day chipping. So, I, you know, I would just leave them loose and let them flop a little bit you know uh either way you want to wear them to me they're comfortable now i do kick brush every day so i'll show you right here if it'll focus there's a little here a little here you know just tore the leather a little bit now some boots have what they call self-healing leather and i was kind of hoping that would just go away <laughs> it didn't so be aware I guess if you tend to, I don't even know if this is a thing, but if you tend to cut and rip boots, probably not a good pair. Uh, I've never done it. Matter of fact, when I've done it, like I said, excuse me for my hiccups. Uh, I remember seeing it when I've done it and I was like, damn, well maybe it'll heal. It didn't, so they've been old and you know, all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a good look at the boot um two month review two month update i'm currently wearing the wolverine hellcats like right now as we speak uh let me see here so if you'd like to see a review on that you know i can do that i also have a pair of the ad tech super loggers i've been wearing uh casually for about a month I'll, I'll definitely get a review in on those, but you know, if you, if I, this is not something I ever intended on doing, I got, I love boots. So why not, you know, when I found out these had a boost insole, I was like, if you, and if you don't know what boost is, let me reiterate this. Let me say it again. Boost is, is a, a foam that's made out of tiny beads. You know, they form it down. I forget the company that, that makes it. But Adidas, you know, they had some chemical company, if I remember right, make this proprietary foam out of beads. They cut it into the silhouette, the shape of a midsole, and you have a midsole made of boost. The insole in this boot is made out of those tiny beads. What's cool about boost, you know, like I can't, I don't wear Adidas shoes myself. They uh, tend to bottom out, it's so soft. Well, when you make the insoles out of this stuff, it doesn't form to your feet. You know, I, I don't know about you, but sometimes it's that 300 pounds, I get a new pair of shoes, new pair of boots. A month later, they're uncomfortable just cause I can feel like this area right here in between my toe and my, you know what I'm saying? Like it's impressed, it's, it's recessed, it's, it's formed to the shape of your foot. A lot of companies put that on their uh, details about the footwear, forms to the shape. I, I don't want it to form to the shape of my foot. I really don't. I want the footwear to stay rigid and support. 
which is exactly what these insoles do. Um, I guess the heel, you know, might have sunk in a little bit, but I'm not gonna complain. These are nice. These are these are cool insoles. Uh, the boot itself is a tough boot. It does the job. Uh, I feel like the the rubber toe cap is indestructible. I've kicked the chipper accidentally. I've kicked big pieces of wood, and you know, you you do it accidentally. You look, you're like, ah, oh, shit. And you look down. There's no problem. It's it is tough boot. The only thing I will say, and I doubt anybody from Timberland will ever watch this or see this, but if they do, that is unacceptable. I work on soil. I don't do a whole lot of work on concrete. The time I've spent on concrete was spent walking from where I was to the chipping truck to get in the chipping truck to head to the next spot. I didn't do any work on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess I just, it wore too much for me. With all that being said, I definitely recommend this boot if you can catch it on sale. If you don't mind the $180 price tag, that's obviously I didn't when I got them. That's what I paid for them. But hindsight's better than foresight because you uh, you always can look behind yourself and go, well, maybe I shouldn't have. Catch these boots on sale. If you catch these boots on sale for a buck fifty or cheaper, home run. Home run, I wouldn't feel nowhere near bad about it. Very comfortable. I got the wide version, you know. Uh, have plenty of room in there. You don't feel the carbon toe unless you pick your toes up. I mean, honestly, it's 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 a different boot from what I'm used to. So uh, if you'd like to see the review on the Hellcats, I've been wearing them about two or three days. Let me know in the comments. I know it's a that's a popular boot, highly accessible. I figure everybody's, I don't know, maybe maybe you don't care nothing about it. Maybe you do. I will put up a review later about the AdTech Super Loggers. Um, appreciate it. Any suggestions, any comments, let me know, and uh, I'll try to respond back. Thanks.